Hey guys, it's the Lego Detective, and I am super proud to present to you a Lego Batman movie set that I got early, I believe early. I got it at Toys R Us today. Um, this is the Scarecrow's Fearful Face-Off, and I've seen a lot of videos of this set. Well, actually, I've seen, like, only three. Um, but all of them were people that were in, like, the UK, and you did not have the piece number. So, I cannot, I'm not gonna say that I'm the first person to have the English box version on YouTube, but that's what I think, but don't quote me on that, because I'm sure that there is someone else that has it. Um, and I'm just going to pick up my camera a bit there, and you can see that we have, um, there's the set, Scarecrow Fearful Face-Off, set number 70913, age 6 to 12, Lego Batman movie, 141 pieces. Um, let me flip to the back. We have pictures of Batman flying with the thing exploding, Scarecrow running to his vehicle. So Scarecrow drops the, the fear gas bomb, he puts it into the little piece of the Gotham Energy Facility, and then it explodes. So anyway, um, I mainly got this because Scarecrow is my favorite DC um, Universe villain, like ever. Um, and also favorite the superhero villain in general, and I'm super excited to have this set. So without further ado, let's look at the two amazing minifigures that we get in this set. So here's the Scarecrow minifigure, and he is pretty amazing. Um, he's got little patch printing on the sides of his arms. Um, one on this side and two on the other side. He's got some side leg printing. He's got some, like, rips and, like, the his boots or, like, the shoes printed on. He's got little print on the hair. And this is a really good piece because it, like, has, like, the straw hair. Very a accurate to the Batman the Animated Series. And here's his first expression. And here's his second expression. Um, the color of brown on the legs and on the body doesn't really match up. And also, I don't know why they gave him a sand blue hip piece, because it doesn't really look that good. Could it have been because they, they wanted that bit of sand blue right there on, like, the, sort of, like, a his shirt that sort of came down. It was, like, all ripped. You can see the little bit of sand blue part. If they really wanted that, I don't know why they just didn't print it on a brown piece, because it would have looked so much better if the waist was brown, but this is a pretty um, spot-on figure, and one of the coolest minifigures that I've seen in the Lego Batman movie line, and definitely the best Scarecrow in a very, very long time. Um, so now let's look at Batman, and he actually also comes with a very, very cool piece, these Batwings. Um, in black, in the color black, this is a recolor. And they only came in one other set, being the Arkham Asylum Breakout set, which used to be $160, and it still seems to be around that price. But it's an old set, it's a retired set, and it's one of those sort of... Not ex it's not exactly a UCS set, but it's in that sort of style, where it's a more like direct-to-consumer. It's um, much bigger, much more expensive, and it's um, a bit more special. And those bat Batwings in black only other otherwise came in that set, so... You can get them here. And he has the flames over there. And the sort of like the jetpacks with some pieces added on to make him that jetpack look. He's got a grappling gun. And um, there's the face you can see. And then taking the head off, there is the back of the body. And this is the other face. And when you want to see that with the cowl on, there's the other face with the cowl on. So here is Scarecrow's Scarecopter, pretty cool name. And um, this is really cool because it looks like Scarecrow just took a bunch of farm equipment and sort of stuck it together. We have like all the browns and we have like this could have been from like a windmill that he spray painted that on there. He's got some brooms. These would be like from pieces that would probably be used on like some old tractors that he's torn apart. He's got like vents. Um, he has the fear gas bombs right there, and you get one on each side, and then you also get another one over here, and you'll see what that is for. And this is actually a use of the spring-loaded shooters that I actually like, because you can use that, and when you press it, it sort of ejects the fear bomb, uh, the fear gas bomb. So I, I think that's a really nice usage. And um, these are pretty simple. They just have an orange minifig head. I would have liked if they gave it like a jack-o'-lantern look, similar to some of the other scarecrow things, but maybe this is just supposed to be normal pumpkins, or... Maybe the price would have to be a bit raised, raised up a bit, um, if, uh, they did printed stuff. 
And uh, this propeller spins pretty well, but this one on the top really doesn't. I don't know why. But I really like all the greebling and whatnot. Scarecrow has a little uh, handlebar that he can hold. And let's take him off. You can see that it has like sort of like a seat right there. And um, right now I'm going to show you just a few small easy modifications because I feel like this set can be modified really easily. Um, and because of that handlebar, Scarecrow actually doesn't have to be attached. So what I like to do, I just take another one of these, 2x4, tan, and add that in there. And uh, that actually looks really, really good when you add that in. So I thought that was just a nice addition. And Scarecrow does not have to sit, so he can just peg on. Come on, get on there, Scarecrow. There we go. So another modification is right here. And um, there's just a gap right there, and this is actually kind of interestingly attached. It's attached with like some hinges, but um, there is enough room to put a 1x2 tile right there. So what I did is I actually just took this off and then replaced it with a lime green one, and then there's a lime green grill on top. And then I just decided to add that in, and um, that's what I have chosen to modify this. So there's the Scarecopter and just some small modifications. And then we have this little area, which is a piece of the Gotham Energy Facility. And in the beginning opening scene in the movie, um, it takes place in the Gotham Energy Facility. And don't, don't go all ballistic on me, because that scene was actually released um, before the movie came out. It was released um, on clip on YouTube before the movie came out. And the movie is actually really good, so you should watch it. And if you can't watch that... At least watch th that scene. I'm um, just search up like Batman, Lego Batman movie, Batman versus villains. It's just it's like three minutes and it's like awesome. You should watch it. But and e um, there are a few other sets like this, and each set comes with a piece of the Gotham Energy facility, and you can connect them all together to make a bigger like Gotham Energy facility, which I really like. So basically, the concept for this is that Scarecrow, Scarecrow has dropped his fear bomb, and he is gonna load it right into this and then he's going to explode this little area so when you press this little um yellow piece it just blows it off and there's just some technic axles and whatnot going on this piece just sits inside and then this is just attached by a few studs i don't like how it sort of extrudes so what i have done to fix that is what i um my solution and this is actually just using extra pieces right here you don't even have to Supply your own pieces. Just take out this brick right here. And then take um, a one by one stud. It can be just like um, a round stud or just a square stud. And then a piece just to rise it up. It, this is just some of the extra pieces in the sets. It doesn't really matter how you do it. But basically what you want to do is you want to do it so that you can put this in. And then it's sort of a bit, a bit more flush with this. But also, when you hold it and you tilt it a little bit, it won't fall out. Because if you, if it's able to fall through really easily, like when you have this on, it can't fall through. If it's able to fall through, then that means that sometimes it won't work correctly. So, you just do that, and then the brick, taking out the brick and replacing it with something like that, makes room for this stud, um, this stud right there on the end. And then it makes it a bit more flush, and it looks better. From the side and it doesn't look like there's something taking up space also another thing that i did is this piece is an extra piece and this piece is just for my own collection it's a gray one by two gray slope just put that there and then put the extra piece of this stud right here and i feel like it looks much better because it sort of continues the line of the gray and yellow and also the yellow continues there so I feel like that just fills up some space and it makes the feature a bit less obvious and it makes it look a bit better. Yeah, so that is my review on the Scarecrow um, Fearful Face-Off Lego Batman movie set. Um, this is a really great set, $14.99, got it at Toys R Us early, um, super glad that I got it. And um, anyway, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next review.